Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and now we're going to solve a problem that has to do with prime factorization. Um, so for this exam, it's actually a really good idea for you to know your prime numbers very well inside and out, um, because solving problems like this is going to require them. It's going to be essential. Um, so here, we're talking about integers between 15 and 30, so let's go ahead and uh, list those out really quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and do it here. 17, 18... 19 and then over here I'm going to do 20, 21, um, oh sorry this is going to be much easier with the pen, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. And um, the first thing you want to do here is because we're looking for numbers that have exactly two distinct prime factors is any prime, fa prime numbers you see can be out, uh, can be just uh, completely out of consideration. So as you see 17 there, uh, 19 is a prime number. Um, what else is prime? 23 is a prime number. Uh, 29 is a prime number. Am I missing any? Nope, that looks, that looks good to me. All right, and then uh, what you do when you're trying to do prime factorization is uh, you write these little trees. Um, so for example, 16 you know is 2 times 8, right? And then you factor out uh, how you get 8, so 2 times 4, and you factor out 4, 2 times 2. And what you see here is the uh, only prime numbers that you're using are 2, is 2. So 2 is the prime number that you would get from doing prime factorization 16. Now we're going to very quickly do the rest of them. Uh, it becomes second nature after a while. So you'd have 2 times 9, so 2 times 3 times 3. So here you've got 2 and 3. So already you have 1, so you can cross out none. This is one number, 18 is one number that has exactly two distinct prime factors. You can tell from the tree these are 2 and 3. Uh, so we can skip 19 and we can go ahead and move on to 20. You would have 4 times 5 here. Uh, both of these are prime numbers. No, sorry, what am I saying? This is 2 times 2. Uh, 2 and 5 are both prime numbers. So uh, here you would have another one. So you'd be able to cross out 1 because you've already got 2. For 21, you've got uh, 3 times 7. Those are both prime numbers. So there you'd have 3. For 22, sorry, this was for 21. For 22, you would have 11 times 2, which both of those are also prime numbers. So there you'd already have 4, so you can move past 3. Uh, 23 is prime. 24, you would have 12 times 2, which is 6 times 2 times 2, which is 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. So you've got 3 and 2. So you've already got uh, 5 here, so 5 could still be an option. The moment you find um, <coughs> 6, however, you know that uh, 7 could be the answer, so let's check that out. You've got 5 times 5 for 25, so that's only 1. For 26, you have 13 times 2. 13 is also a prime number. Yes, it is. So you would have um, 6 already. So you would stop there and uh, go ahead and realize that the answer must be 7. Now, this isn't a real exam, so since we have more time, I'm going to show you um, why the rest of them don't work. For number 27, you would have um, 3 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3, so you only have 3. For number 28, you have 14 times 2, which is 7 times 2 times 2. So here you've got 7 and 2. This is the, uh, wait, what is it? We've got 5, 6, 7. We have 7 already here. And uh, yeah, as we saw, 29 was prime. So you have 7 uh, numbers that have exactly two distinct prime factors. 18, 20, 21, 22, 24, 26, uh, and 28. I uh, hope this helped you with this problem. And um, yeah, this is just prime numbers or something that you're going to need to know. Uh, good luck with your studying.